And with former Alberta Premier Alison Redford's resignation, many questions arise when thinking of the PC party's future. And for 80,000 members of the Alberta Union of Provincial Employees, they say they believe their constant lobbying is part of the reason she stepped down. The way uh, she's handled um, uh, negotiations uh, with AUPE and, and all of the other things that have happened over the last year that have basically broken a relationship uh, that we uh, we've had with the government and uh, you know our members were quite angry across the province uh, about a number of initiatives AUPE President Guy Smith says a big concern going forward now is getting Bill 45 and 46 eradicated, which increased fines for labor strikes in Alberta. As well, the cuts to the Alberta pension plans is one of the issues they will continue to bring before their local MLAs. If we don't see a significant change in direction from the government as to how it treats its frontline workers and treats uh, collective bargaining, then uh, they can expect to... Um, uh, you'll feel the consequences at the ballot box in the next elections. He also adds with a change to the party's figurehead, it's a good opportunity for the government to rebuild the relationship with the AUPE. Today was the final day of the Lloydminster Showcase with some special guests invited to speak on their trade, including a 26-year-old woman who's breaking the barriers in a male-dominated industry. Going to and from an area, you always have to make sure that do I have the right safety things if and when we get caught on the mountain. Rachel Attila is a hunting guide. She began at the young age of 13 as a wrangler on a sheep hunt, assessing the trophy quality of the animals. She continued on and was able to make it into a profession. I always wanted to grow up and be a cowgirl. And getting the opportunity to go up north where you're totally removed from everything in the 21st century. You don't have an iPhone, you don't have any of this, and it's just you, the mountains, and the horses. It was just, it was this romanticism that I was just like, oh my gosh, I'm not reading a storybook, I'm living a storybook. Attila says her biggest highlight was being a guide for two TV shows and being recognized for her work. Showing women that, you know, you don't have to be throwing your hair back and like wearing high heels, but you can go out and enjoy the mountains too. Attila travels to New Zealand, then up to the Northwest Territories, dealing with all kinds of animals from stags, doll sheep, moose and caribou. And there were other special guests at the showcase. Well, it wasn't your typical meet and greet. From tasting cooked wild boar to learning how to hog call, fans were having as much fun as pigs in the mud. Reality TV stars Jerry and Robert Campbell from the A&E show American Hoggers came all the way from Texas and entertained the crowd. Anne Knopfait was there and has more. What's your name, buddy? Connor. Connor. For these two, being TV stars isn't something they ever dreamed of. And they say they're just normal guys. It's helped out a lot paying the bills, and you know it's it's fun doing it. No, they'll know how much. Okay. Enjoy, you know, hog hunting's been my life, so uh, it's nice to be able to make money doing something you love. Uh, but I don't I don't see myself as a star. Jerry says as a young boy, he was into hog hunting and always knew he would do it for the rest of his life. My mind was always on being out hunting. It wasn't, wasn't on schoolwork. I could never figure out how diagramming sentences or learning about dangling participles. And even though these a &E stars come all the way from Texas, they're no strangers to the people here in Lloydminster. We like uh, the daughter, Crystal Pistol, she does. Who's your favorite character? Uh, I would have to say the old man, he's a good guy. Oh, he just drives around and gives orders, and kind of like me, so. Gary. Just like watching, catching hogs and different things that they do. Yeah, it's one of a kind show. It's enjoyable. And they even showed everyone a thing or two about hog calling. And then the contest began. Who has the best snort? <laughs> and I even joined in on the fun. I think it's safe to say we'll leave the hog calling to the professionals. The Campbells head home soon, but say they enjoyed the friendly people here in Lloydminster and hope to be back someday. Anna Kanafe, New Cap News.